the HTML quotation and citation elements are as below. So the first one is the block code. Block code. OK, so the first one is the block code. Um, and the second one is the queue, uh, which is also called as short quotation. And the next one is the abbreviation. So ABBR. And uh, the next one is the address. OK, and uh, the next one is the site. So the next one is the site tag. And the last one is uh, B do, um, which means that it is bidirectional override. What is block code? Block code is the section in your web page that is the mother site. Other, other websites. OK, so what your browser will do is whenever it sees a block code element, it will give an indent. OK, so we'll see what is meant by indent. Indent is like giving extra margin to it. OK, so it will automatically give an indent uh, to that. Uh, so that is called as block code and the next one is called as small quotations. Uh, so say for example, you are including some quotations and you want some double quotes around the text. OK, so if you want some double quotes around the text, you'll be using Q over here. OK, so the next one is abbreviation. Uh, abbreviation is where uh, you want to create an abbreviation or acronym. Uh, so I'll show you what will be the effect of making something as abbreviation. Uh, so how it will be seen on the web page, we'll see that making something an acronym or abbreviation. Uh, so the address tag is used to uh, give the address of the author of the web page. Whoever is the owner of the web page, uh, so the owner of the web page can give uh, his or her uh, contact details or uh, uh, all that information can be given in the address. So the next one is the site. So site is generally give uh, put in italics. So say for example, or you can say that this painting is done by so and so person. So that is what is called a citation. It's not yours. Uh, it is somebody else's work and you want to show it in your uh, page. OK, so that is called a site. Uh, so which is actually similar to block code, but here you can actually include images and all that you can do it. Uh, the next one is uh, uh, be do, uh, which is called as bidirectional override. OK, so what is it is called as? It is called as bidirectional. It is called as bidirectional override. OK, what it is used for this bidirectional override uh, First of all, your browser need to support it. Uh, sometimes uh, some browsers will not support it, but in case if your browser supports it, what will happen is the text, whatever you write, the text it will it will appear, but it will appear from right to left. Okay, so all these are the HTML quotations and citation elements. So with this understanding of what uh, these tags are, let us get into the practical understanding of them. In the body, I'm giving a paragraph. Okay, so I'm giving a paragraph wherein I'm saying when was COVID. So this is not my thing. Okay, I'm trying to get it from some other website and I'm trying to put it. Okay, so some other source from some other source, I'm trying to get the information and I'm trying to put it. Okay, so I'm saying like when is COVID 19 first reported? So this is actually my paragraph. So there is nothing new over here. Which you already know. Uh, now comes my block code. OK, so what I'm doing here is uh, I'm saying block code because this is not uh, the text that I'm going to display after this uh, is not my own content. OK, so I'm taking it from some site. Uh, so I'm saying CIT site is equal to. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm saying I have picked it up from so and so site need to copy the URL uh, from there from where you have uh, copied it. So I'm saying maybe I have copied it from World Health Organization or you can say government dot uh, in. Uh, you can just give you just need to give the website from where you have copied it. OK, so I just have given the website from where I have copied it and then. Uh, uh, so I'm just uh, copy. I can just copy the text from there over here. OK. COVID-19 was first reported 
I'm just giving my own text, but you can take it from the website. OK, uh, was first reported um, from Wuhan. OK, uh, China. Uh, when it was reported, I don't know, in 2019, I suppose in somewhere around in December. A on. OK, 20 years. Uh, I have taken it from and then now uh, I need to just uh, close the block code. Okay. Uh, so let me just show you how this will appear on your browser. So I just have taken the browser and you can see this the effect of this. OK, so as I already told you, like uh, the browser will add some extra indentation. So see here. It just added some extra tabs or spaces over here before putting the code. OK, so this COVID-19, uh, right? Also, I just said why. Okay. So I have COVID-19 was first reported from Wuhan, so I just have uh, taken this from the site. From where I have taken this? I have taken this from the website, which is who.in. OK, so I'm just giving a quote over here. Um, I said like quotes are nothing but double quotes. Um, so let me take a paragraph and I say like my favorite quote is. The author wants to whoever is running the website is saying uh, that my favorite quote is. Uh, so I'm just trying to give my quote and I want the quote to appear in double quotes. So I just have given uh, Q over here. Um, and any of your favorite quote you can say like so this is the quote uh, that uh, is favorite of mine so i just have put over here and i'm closing the paragraph okay right uh, so let me show you the effect of this over here so you can see that the quote appeared in double quotes uh, a b b r so that is the tag over here and inside the tag i'm giving the attribute which is title so title is equal to uh, so I'm saying World Health Organization. The health organization and uh, uh, put the double quotes, close the tag and what you want the acronym to be the acronym to be the universal acronym, which is WHO and uh, then I'm closing the, the ABBR tag and uh, um, so uh, you can say like this founded in 1992. So let me save this and show you the effect of this. OK, so you can see that the abbreviation uh, appears something like this with dotted underline. Uh, who is the abbreviation? So when I hover the mouse over uh, this particular abbreviation, you can see World Health Organization appeared, right? OK, so this is what is called as uh, abbreviation. So you can say, see. College. Uh, acronym that you want it to have. Like it is SWEC, right? S-V-E-C-W. I'm just saying that okay, you can just take off all this. OK, so as soon as you hover your mouse or bring your mouse on top of it, uh, then you will be seeing the uh, uh, expanded uh, thing of the acronym. OK, so which is saying Sri Vishnu Engineering College for Women. Um, so the next one is site. I'll take site now. Um, so before putting the site, uh, I would like to put a picture, uh, a Harry Potter picture over here. So I'm saying SRC is equal to. Um, so let me take the path of the Harry Potter uh, image that I have downloaded. Uh, so this is the Harry Potter image. Uh, so this is. Dot PNG, right? OK, fine. So I'm just uh, giving the source path. OK, so slash it is Harry Potter dot PNG. Uh, so that's an image and. Uh, 
all the other stuff like you have, right? So I want to keep the image um, a bit small. So I'm saying with this equal to 100 and height to 100 and height is equal to um, again and uh, the height again I'm putting it in double quotes okay so what else uh, uh, anyway we will find the picture but if you want you can also use the alternate tag okay I'm saying it is This is a alt tag that I have used. OK, fine. Uh, let me just save this and show you. OK, so this is how the picture will appear. So this is Harry Potter image. OK, so the uh, picture. So now I want to cite this. How I'll do that citation is that. Um, so I just want to give something. It's like giving uh, um, when you have this uh, movie posters, right? And at the bottom of that, you want to write who is the director of the movie and who is uh, acting in the movie and all that. That is, uh, you can understand it that way. Uh, so I'm saying uh, paragraph P, um, then I say cite, okay. Uh, and then I'm saying Harry Potter. And now uh, what I'm doing, I'm closing the site. Uh, so then I'm saying it is by who have written this. It is JK Rowling, right? Uh, so I'm saying it is written by novel written by JK Rowling. Later on, it became a movie. Um, so this is what I have done. OK, so let me just, uh, save this and uh, go over here. OK, so you can see that uh, it is Harry Potter by JK Rowling and you can see that whatever I have cited have become italics. Uh, so let us move on to the next one. Uh, what is the next one? The next one is uh, be do, right? Uh, so how do you actually use be do? As I already told you, like it will print the text from right to left. Um, so I'm just taking a text, so I'm saying be do. And then uh, direction, so I'm saying dir is equal to. So what is the uh, value of the attribute? The value of the attribute is RTL. And uh, then I'm closing this. And what I want to print in the other word direction, so which is uh, web technologies. And then I'm closing this uh, tag. OK, so I'm just off making it off. So you can see that web technologies is printed from right to left. Uh, so let us see what is the address tag. So address tag is very simple. Like I'll be just having the address tag. OK, generally we'll be giving the address uh, at the bottom of the web page. Uh, so you can um, give right whatever you want the address. OK, so you can say this web page is designed by or written by. So I'm just saying it is written by Sudha and then I am giving a break over here and you can say like visit me at uh, um, OK or I can say like uh, email me or mail me at okay. so and I'll just give my mail ID and then give a BR and then the country where you are OK so and the pin code and all that you can give and finally you just need to opt the address tag. Um, so I'm just Closing the tag. OK, right. So it's just that. So the address tag is used for that. And uh, let me just show you the effect of it. Uh, so you can see like it is saying written by Sudha and mail me at and all that appeared over here. OK, right. It will start on a new line. Uh, so contact information of the owner or, or the document or the article, whatever it is, uh, you will be using the address uh, tag. And inside the address tag, you can use or you can give the email address, URL or the social media handle, uh, whatever you want the users to know, you can just give that. And automatically what happens is the text inside the address will render in italics. So you can see that it has rendered in italics. 
and uh, uh, so the uh, browser will add a line break. So address is always written with the line break in the before uh, before it and after it. So that is regarding the address uh, tag. 